guys welcome so today we are going to do something a little bit different i am actually going to go over my top 10 fragrance mist from bath and body works for fall these are like my favorites for fall um they are actually having their fall sale right now so you get can actually get some really really good deals on their fragrance mists and lotions and all that stuff for fall right now so um, definitely recommend these fragrance mists and if you are interested in getting them you should be able to get them still at like a discount price so um, we are just going to go ahead and get right into this today all right, so we're going to just get started, and these are my top 10 fragrance mists for fall. So these are, like, my current fall favorites right now, and like I said, they should be available if you would like to get them, but um, some of them are from this year. Some of them are from, like, last year or different years, but, you know, you can always get them on eBay or Macari. Usually it is a little bit more on those places, but I will tell you which ones are from which years and we'll go over all the scent notes of them. But these are just 10 of my personal favorites for fall. So um, I love to share this. So the first one that we're going to get started with is um, this one right here. This is a great Halloween one and these are in no particular order whatsoever so it's not like from least to favorite or favorite to least it's just totally random so this one is a really great one to me for fall and halloween and i just love the look of it as well it just looks like fall and halloween to me this one is vampire blood and i believe this is the first year that this full-size fragrance mist and body cream did come out but this is the first time that I've actually tried this one and I am definitely loving this one I could actually wear this one any time of year but especially for fall it is a gorgeous packaging you know it just makes me think of Halloween with that red and that black it is so beautiful and the fragrance notes on this one actually are red berries night blooming jasmine and petrifying plum so yeah, it looks super pretty. At first, I actually got one. They sent me one with a clear cap and I wanted the black cap so bad I had to contact customer service and they ended up sending me one for free. So that was definitely nice because I wanted the one with the black cap for my collection. So that was really nice of them to do. But um, this one just smells so delicious. It says juicy berries, but it's giving me more of like a strawberry, which I am all here for. Like, I love that strawberry note. And then when it mixes with that floralness, it kind of give it, gives it like a deeper kind of scent, which is really nice, but it's not too deep at all. It's not musky or anything like that. It's just a really nice floral fruity scent with like a pop of that strawberry, which I am loving. It lasts for quite a while being like a fruity floral to me. So this is definitely one of my favorites this year for fall. Um, ever since I got it right at first, I have pretty much fell in love with it because it is such a nice fruity floral. I know there's a lot of fruity florals out there, but this one is just a little bit different. I don't know. It just smells so delicious. And the look of it is just so great for Halloween and fall. So... This one did come out this year, so it should be available online and in store. Hopefully they didn't sell out yet, but um, all their fall stuff right now, they're having like a deep discount on. So definitely recommend to get over there and get that stuff if you do still want some fall stuff, because after this sale, they will probably pretty much clear everything out. Okay, so on to number two, we are going to go ahead and pull out this one right here, which is champagne apple and honey so this one right here i do love the packaging this year for this one um this has been a returning favorite for many it's come back year after year after year so this is the first year i'm really like trying this out so i love apple scents like i fell in love with beautiful day in spring but that one has a much more heavy floral component to it but um, the packaging on this one is super cute this year with these like embossed or ingrained like leaves on it. 
um that looks super cute i just love how they actually put leaves on it instead of just a regular like fauceted packaging like how they do i prefer like a decorative element than just the fauceted like the leaves are super cute and i hope they do that maybe with christmas or different seasons hopefully they tend to do this kind of bottle not this specific kind of bottle with the leaves but like you know like maybe for spring do like flowers on it or something like that the only complaint i have about the packaging is this this label because it is very hard to read the actual fragrance on it it's kind of light and you know so it's kind of hard to see it but otherwise this is a really good fragrance i've really been loving this one this fall um it's just kind of a nice apple scent so it smells really good it does have like a slight floral in there but to me the apple pops out a lot more than any kind of floral in this one it just smells so delicious it smells like a fresh juicy apple and then maybe with a slightly floral background but um I'm going to read you the fragrance notes on this one. So it is crisp apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine, honey, and autumn woods. So yeah, I have definitely been loving this one. I've been pulling it out over and over. So yeah, I've just been loving this one. Let me know if you guys like the champagne, apple, and honey. I know you guys told me that this one is a little bit different this year though, which I'm kind of bummed out about because y'all said that pink apple or pink lady apples were the um fragrance notes from before where now it just says crisp apple and i love pink lady apples as my favorite type of apple like ever to eat so i was kind of bummed out about that to hear that it's a little bit different and i probably would have preferred like the pink lady apple but this one still is a really great fragrance for fall and apple fragrances um especially the heavy like apple scented fragrances make me think of fall so i love having this in my collection and being able to pull out like a fruity type fragrance to wear in the fall that's not super deep or anything like this like this is a perfect daytime fragrance perfect for like going apple picking going to the pumpkin patch or whatever so yeah i definitely recommend this one i have been loving this one this year Okay, so now on to the next one, which let's see, let's pull out this one right here. So this is Sweet Whiskey. So if you've been watching my videos, you kind of know my take on this one because I got this one last year originally and I did not like this one at all. So it's probably surprising that it is in my favorites right now, but i have learned to wear it like a different way and i've been loving it and i don't know if my sense of smell changed or what because last year i was just totally hating this one but sweet whiskey has won my heart over finally so the fragrance notes on sweet whiskey are golden amber vanilla infused whiskey sweet red berries so you can definitely smell a whiskey kind of boozy component in this and at first, like when I first tried this out, when I first got it, I thought it smelled like pee. So <laughs> I don't know if that is um, what other people have gotten from this or not, but I swear if, when it like combined with my skin chemistry, it made me like think of like a urine smell, which I was totally not on board for. But this year it has either changed or, um, I mean, I know the formula has not changed. This is the same bottle that I had, but either my sense of smell changed or it changed like within the bottle during the year. Um, but I have been pairing it with the um, sweet cream body butter from Tree Hut, and it's been so good. So I think maybe for me, pairing this sweet whiskey with something a little bit more gourmand and creamy definitely worked for me, but I probably would prefer not to use this just alone. Like it needs a little bit of more of a sweetness for me, but those red berries are so delicious. And to me, the whiskey is kind of taking more of a backseat now, whereas before when I first tried it, I thought the whiskey was just way too strong in this and it smelled kind of, you know, weird with my chemistry. But um, this one is out this year as well, but this is the packaging from last year. This one's been out numerous times. 
So I believe it is still available now, I think, but it is in different packaging. If you're going to try to purchase this one, it doesn't look like this anymore. But yeah, this has grown to become one of my favorites this fall, which is very surprising to me. And yeah, I've been loving this one though. So good guys. So let me know your thoughts on Sweet Whiskey because I know a lot of people love it. A lot of people hate it. So let me know what you think of Sweet Whiskey for fall. Okay, so now we are going to go to a very gourmand scent. The minute that I smelled this one, I knew this one was for me. I love gourmand scents and I love this one. At first I thought by the name it might be just too heavy, too much, but I am a gourmand lover and when I tried this, it was actually perfect. So this one is pumpkin pecan waffles. So I think before I was scared off by the pumpkin in this one because I can go back and forth about pumpkin fragrances, but this one is done in such a way where it is just so like melt in your mouth, ooey gooey, yummy, you know, it just is so, so good. I love this one. It's, you know, reminds me of like a fall bakery or like a bakery in fall, but it smells really good. Yeah. So it's, like you can smell the pumpkin and like a brown sugar element and maybe even like a cinnamon and then there's such a buttery like element in this it's like just so delicious like a bready buttery which is probably the waffle note in this but it just smells so delicious it seriously smells like a snack to me it's not too much on the like maple syrup or anything so it doesn't really make me feel like you know just smelling like breakfast food. It's just kind of like a really nice kind of fall scent to me. Like it's like fall food kind of mixed together, but it smells so delicious the way they've done this one. I only have this one in a mini. I believe um, the full size has those like leaves on it, like the champagne apple and honey one that I showed you, which I would have preferred, but I got this one for free because it was like my little birthday gift. So so I got just the mini in this one and I don't plan on getting the full size because these fragrance mists take me quite a while to go through. And this is one they do bring back year after year after year. So I'm expecting to probably see it next year as well. But um, I'm going to read you the fragrance notes, but I'm going to read them off the lotion since the minis do not have fragrance notes. So the fragrance notes on this one are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. So it's so good. And like I said, I don't get like a heavy, heavy maple, but just a light maple. And then with those spices and that buttery element and that slight touch of pumpkin, it's just such a great gourmand scent for fall. Definitely recommend this one if you are a gourmand lover. And that is pumpkin pecan waffles. Okay, so now to the next. So this one is actually one of my all-time favorites. I got this one last year, and this one is Vanilla Mocha Martini. So this is like a coffee-type scent, but it is not a strong, like, fresh-brewed coffee. It is more like a milky, creamy, sweet coffee. Like, maybe something you would even get from Starbucks or something like that. Um, I love coffee scents for fall. Um, and it is so good. I have some coffee scent, like lotions and stuff too, from Victoria's Secret Pink that I love, but we are focusing on Bath and Body Works today. So I didn't include any of my Victoria's Secret fall stuff. This is all just my favorites from Bath and Body Works, but yeah, vanilla mocha martini went over my heart right away. When I first got it last year, it was like a love at first sniff. It's so good guys. It's just one of those fragrances that is just really well blended and put together to me. It's not too strong on the coffee, not too strong on the chocolate, and not too strong on the vanilla. It just blends really, really well together. But yeah, this one did come out last year, so you probably won't be able to find this one unless you go to Macari or eBay or someplace like that. The fragrance notes on this one are Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, and White Tonka Bean. So yeah, this one's really great to pair with like coffee scented scrubs and things like that as well. 
so good. It's pretty long lasting. I can smell it on myself like pretty much all day long when I use this one. And I really don't freshen up with, you know, sprays throughout the day or anything like that. So this one definitely is one of my favorites and having it for fall this year just is so so good i just love this one so much and so if you like coffee scents i definitely recommend this one for you for fall this is a great winter one as well though but for fall this is like it all right so we are going to move on we have a few more left so um first let's see I'm going to pull out this one. So this one was from last year as well. This is wrapped in vanilla. I could not leave this out of my list because it is such a great vanilla scent. It is warm and cozy yet gourmand. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like vanilla frosting in a way, like a really creamy, you know, vanilla frosting. So good. I hope you guys got your hands on this one, especially if you're vanilla lovers. It is just such a creamy 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 vanilla this is probably one of the best vanillas that bath and body works has ever done especially for like a gourmand type vanilla this is just reminding me of vanilla frosting it's just so creamy and sweet and just so delicious this is definitely something that i have to have in my collection i'm never letting this one go so hopefully they come out with this one this year as well but i don't know yet i haven't heard anything about this one coming out again but hopefully it does because it was definitely a hit for a lot of people including me and the fragrance notes on this one are soft vanilla velvet sugar and chantilly cream so so good i love this one let me know if you guys like wrapped in vanilla if you have it in your collection this is such a great fall scent it is just like cozy kind of and gourmand and just one of the best vanillas in my opinion okay so now we are going to talk about this one this is black cherry merlot so black cherry merlot has been out previously this is repackaged so this one came out this year so hopefully you will be able to find it right now so it does look like this it's in the same packaging this is from this year so black cherry merlot i don't know i just recently got into cherry scents so i had to get this one and it is so delicious but i do have a complaint about this one because it does not last as long as i would like it to um being a cherry scent i thought it was going to last quite a bit longer because like i have sunset glow and that one lasts a long long time on my skin and i love that one but this one has a little bit more of a darker chili cherry element which i do like quite a bit but it's just not long lasting so I don't know if the formula changed or if it's the same as other years because I have not previously had black cherry merlot but this one smells really really good when you put it on but it dissipates very very fast so within a few hours I am not smelling this one anymore so it pretty much needs to be freshened up every few hours if you're going to wear this one throughout the day the fragrance notes on black cherry merlot are dark cherry black raspberry and merlot so I do not get any merlot from this um like I thought it could be a little bit more boozier than they made it but it's not and i like that because i think if the wine element was too much in this i might dislike this but um you can really get that black cherry what i get most from this is like a black cherry scent and it just smells delicious it is so juicy and dark and more of a you know cherry scent for fall because it is darker so i definitely love this one this could be a daytime or nighttime scent it is just so so good i just really really wish that it did last longer because it fades so quick it's kind of a bummer so this one would be best topping it off with like a perfume or something over it because it does dissipate pretty quickly but it does smell so delicious i had to include this in my fall favorites because it is just so so good when you spray it out and i love cherry scents so 
that is black cherry merlot and then we are going to go on to this one right here so this one is brown sugar and fig this one came out winter sas this last year and um this is a repackage i think it originally came out like in the 90s but in the 90s i did not care for this one um but now i love it so the fragrance notes on brown sugar and fig are fresh fig, coconut milk, and caramelized brown sugar. So it's like sweet and you do get that coconut milk in here. So if you're not big on coconut, you might not like this, but you definitely get a little bit of coconut and like it is kind of lactonic from that milky element. And then the caramelized brown sugar makes it so delicious. I think that's my favorite fragrance note in this one is that caramelized brown sugar. But then when it pairs with that coconut milk, it smells so good. And the fig, I think is just adding a bit of sweetness, but this has become one of my favorites. And this one is great for fall. It kind of reminds me of a transitional fragrance in a way because it does have coconut in it. And that kind of reminds me of summer a little bit, but this is definitely not a summer fragrance. Like I did not pull this one out in summer really at all but going into fall like having that little bit of coconut in here this is so so good um definitely recommend i love brown sugar and fig it's probably one of my all-time favorite fragrances now even though i did hate it in the 90s when it came out i definitely have changed and i love this one now so if you have this one this is a great one for fall definitely pull it out and give it some use, give it some love because this is such a good one for fall. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about another one from this year. So this is a new one that came out this year and this one is Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. So this came out at the same time with the Fresh Vanilla Blossoms, but this one won my heart right away. The Fresh Vanilla Blossoms really had to grow on me, and that really could be like a spring scent, honestly, to me, in my opinion. But this one right here is such a great fall scent. I love this one. It is boozy. It is dark. It is great for evening, um, but also great for day. Like, I love wearing it during the day but i fell in love with this one at first sniff so good you get the vanilla you do get a lot of that boozy bourbon so if you don't like boozy fragrances you probably would not like this one but i am a fan of boozy fragrances because they do tend to last longer and they're deeper and they just smell delicious to me and it's funny because i don't really even drink alcohol anymore but but it smells so delicious. I love this one so much. The fragrance notes on Cozy Vanilla Bourbon are warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liqueur. So yeah, this one, I just love this one. If I could use this one every day, I probably would, but it is just delicious. Definitely recommend. What do you guys think of Cozy Vanilla Bourbon? Let me know in the comments because this is just so, so good. I do wish they brought Bonfire Bash back, but they didn't this year. So this is just a good one too. You know, this is another good bourbon type fragrance. And the next one I'm going to talk about actually has a bourbon note as well. But this one is, I think, my favorite one with bourbon in it with that vanilla and bourbon blend. And it just blends so well together and it lasts all day long love this vanilla bourbon body mist so good okay so i only have one more today so this one is midnight amber glow and this actually came out last year and they did not come back with this one and this one also has a bourbon note in it and it actually has vanilla in it as well so when i first got the cozy vanilla bourbon it did remind me of this one and i had to pull it out and kind of compare but they are a bit different because this one does have like a kind of coffee note and a caramel note as well so the fragrance notes on midnight amber glow are smooth amber caramel latte and vanilla bourbon so isn't that interesting this one has vanilla bourbon in it as well so um i think that's why it's giving me kind of those same vibes as the cozy bourbon vanilla one 
because it almost smells like it, but then it has like more to it. So it's a little bit more complex, I would say, than the cozy vanilla bourbon one because it kind of smells like that, but then it also has like more layers of fragrance. And this is also a very long lasting fragrance. It's kind of a deep fragrance. So this would be a great nighttime or evening fragrance in fall as well. But I think it's good every day, you know, all day. But yeah, there's definitely, you know, the caramel latte and the amber are giving it this like layering kind of smell that is definitely different the, than the cozy vanilla bourbon. Like it's not a repackage or anything like that because I'm pulling out different notes in this one. But it's still such a great fragrance. Lasts all day. Definitely recommend if you have this one in your collection. It is time to pull it out and use it for fall. Because fall is almost coming to an end. Really, you guys. I can't believe how quickly fall is going by this year. It is just like flying. So I'm trying to get the last use out of all my fall fragrances before I pull out like my winter fragrances, which a lot of fall fragrances really can roll kind of into winter and transition into that. But some are better just in fall. And um, yeah, so this one is not available this year, but you know, you could get it at like Macari, eBay, places like that. But I definitely recommend the Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. If you liked this Midnight Amber Glow one, you would definitely like this Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. So to kind of give you an idea, um, if maybe you want to purchase the Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, because I don't know if this one is included in the fall sale or not, but they have some of those fall items at really, really good prices right now. So this would be a great time to go purchase some fragrance mist for fall if you have not already. So definitely, you know, take a look and see what you like. But yeah, these are my 10 favorite fragrance mists for this current season of fall. I'm sure every fall I change. So next year it will be completely different, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love if you go ahead and let me know your favorite scents that you have been using for fall, like what fragrance is your favorite for fall this year. Go ahead and leave that in the comments because I would love to know what your favorites are as well. And if you like this kind of content, I would definitely love if you subscribe as well if you're not already because I do try to do like three videos a week. I do What's New Wednesday where I tell you guys about affordable body care and fragrances or any sales that are happening or anything coming soon that I know about to let you guys know. I also do my fragrance Fridays where I go over like my fragrance mist and lotion combos through the whole week. And then um, I do try to throw in like a random collection video or haul or something like that. So this week it was this um, top 10 fall fragrances. So definitely hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And I love you guys so much and I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next one.